Um, I just want y'all to know that I am having so much fun making these videos. Um, I really wish I could make them every day. Um, but my life ain't set up like that. And, um, <laughs> there's just something fun for me to do while Emerson is gone. And after my work day, just something fun for me to wind down and do. But, um, anyway, I'm having fun. And I hope that you guys are having fun watching me. If you're not, well, clearly you are because you clicked on my video <laughs> and you're still watching. So, I hope you're having as much fun as I am. But anyway, um, let's get right to it. If you watched my last couple videos, uh, I told you guys that I, if I remembered, I was going to try to drink out of the um, set of glasses that my friend bought me because there was a set of four. Um, but unfortunately, I cannot find the fourth glass. I know I'm on the third, but I'm just letting you guys know. So next week, um, I will not be drinking out of that fourth glass. So... The third glass says, pour, drink, repeat. I don't know if you guys can see this because there's a glare. Um, my sister, she was kind enough to give me her ring light. So I'm trying that out for the first time today. Um, so we're going to see how it goes. Like when I record my videos, it's like a one and done. Because um, I think <laughs> I'm just trying to... Um, not trying to like I want it to be um authentic so you guys are getting um you guys know that this is real like I'm not acting I'm not you know making I don't have a script or anything this is kind of you getting you're getting what you get um and I'm not being fake or anything like that what you see like this is this is me. But anyway, so um, she got me a ring light. And um, so, yeah, I'm trying this out for the first time. And I actually think it's it's going pretty decent. My last video, I made it at night. It's night right now. Well, yeah, it's a little dark outside because it's raining. But my curtains are open today, if you guys noticed. And my lights are not going in and out. So I think the ring light is working. Um, but we shall see. We're still in the beginning of the video. But let's go ahead and get right to it. Um, again, if you watched my last video, Emerson and I are stuck in the house um, still. So my friend Liz went and got me some random wines. Um, I actually think I'm going to like this one that she picked out. This is also from Lidl. It is a Riesling. Um, you can't really see it because of the glare. But um, oh, that was a bit of a bummer. I don't know. I don't know. Either way. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see it there. That's a Riesling from um from Lidl. Um, I went on the, mm, excuse me. I tried to Google the website, just like how I did the last one that she got me from Lidl. And I could not find anything. So, I'm just going to read you guys what the back of the bottle says. This is from, or this is a Rose Creek Riesling wine of USA. An exceptional Riesling that benefits from the unique conditions in Washington State. Its intense flavor and fruity acid reflects the character of its origin. Enjoy with Asian dis dishes, fish or poultry. Once opened, consume within three days. Um, Washington State, Riesling, 50 to 54 degrees. Um, it has a dry to sweet scale. On that scale, it is, um, a number three, um, on a scale of one to four. So, I think I'm gonna like this one, um, because I like Rieslings. Um, they're not very sweet. Um, they're like semi-sweets. Um, if you watch my previous videos, it seemed like I'm confused and I don't know what I like, but I really do know what I like. I don't like super, super sweet wines. Um, they do have to have some sweetness, um, because otherwise I really won't like them. So, um, I think I'm going to like this wine. It doesn't say, um, what fruit profile it has. So... We shall see. Um, again, I didn't pick this. My best friend did. Um, 
And to go with this, she got me some stuffed pepperoncini peppers. I think I'm going to enjoy these. When she brought me these, I actually wanted to, um, I wanted to open them and eat them when she brought them here. And I hope they are as good as I am anticipating them to be because if they're not, I am going to be so disappointed. Um, so yeah, I'm honestly not sure why she picked um, these two items to go together. Again, I didn't pick, I, I didn't choose these. So yeah, she got them from Lidl. Um, Lidl is our, one of the little local chains here. Um, this particular wine cost $4.95 um, and the peppers were $3.69. So another cheap wine. Nothing's wrong with cheap wines. Um, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. But we shall see. I am really looking forward to these pepper and cheese, y'all. She did good with this pick. So if y'all watch my last video, go watch my last video and y'all see what I'm talking about. <laughs> but we're going to get right to this. Let me go on and put my music on. And we shall see. I'm excited, y'all, because I'm really, I'm really looking forward to tasting these peppers. Um, but yeah, I think this wine is going to have a... I think it's going to be semi, well, of course it's going to be semi-sweet, but I also think it's going to, um, it's going to be a little dry. I think it's going to have a dry finish, sweet start, a sweet start, dry finish, and we'll see if the peppers complement it, and I hope they're good. hope they don't taste like plastic, but what else it? Let's get some music on. Okay. All right, let's pour us some Riesling. Kind of strong. I can smell it as soon as I open the bottle. It kind of smells like bubbles. <gasps> Ooh. All right. Oh yeah, it smells like bubbles. So I don't know if that's a good thing or um I don't think that's a good thing. Woo! If I had nose hairs, they would have been cinched off. It does not smell very good. It smells, it smells cheap. <laughs> it, it doesn't smell very good. But we'll see. Let's give it a taste. what to make of this one um it's not dry um i thought it was gonna be a little bit dry um like a start of, bleh, i think i said it was gonna have a dry start and a sweet a, a semi-dry start and a sweet finish um it's not dry at all but i honestly don't really know what to make of it um it doesn't really taste that good but I don't know what fruits I'm tasting. Um, I think pear. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to make of this. It just tastes cheap. Um, like I said, there's nothing wrong with cheap wines. Um, I just, I don't know what to make of that. Um, it doesn't really taste, I can't really taste anything. It tastes like, I don't know, cheap. But let's try one of these 
peppers. I'm excited about this. Mm. Maybe I should have got a fork, but we gonna try it. We gonna see. Ooh, they're very oily. See that? Let me see. Oh, was I supposed to drain them? <laughs> it says per drained package. So maybe I was supposed to drain them. Reading is fundamental. I don't be reading nothing, y'all. Um, these are good though. I'm gonna finish chewing this. Then I'll drink some of the wine. Yeah, I think I had to drain that oil off of them, but Liz, you did good with these. I'm going to eat those. All right, let me hurry up and taste some of this wine. But the wine's not bad. I think it just, it reminds me of like when I first started drinking wine and I didn't really know too much about wine. I mean, I still don't know. I mean, I know some stuff. I mean, I'm still an amateur, but I know that this is cheap wine. Like if I was to, somebody was supported, like if I went on a date or something, or if I, somebody went to some plate, was to cook dinner for me and they were like, oh, we're going to have dinner. I got us some wine and they put this in my glass. I'm like, um, sir, excuse me, I don't want this. <laughs> this is nasty. <laughs> but, I mean, if you're on a budget, um, and you just want something that's kind of, you know, not super, super sweet, um, this might be for you. Um, it's not bad. I personally would not purchase this. Um, but for $5, I mean, I guess it's okay um so yeah again my palette my choice my taste i can't say that this was my choice because i did not choose this but hey um go try something new um let somebody else choose something for you and see if you like it if you don't oh well you tried something new that's always good to try new things um so yeah i probably will finish this um it says to consume within three days. I don't think that that's going to happen, so. Oh well, a waste of five dollars. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, I hope you guys are enjoy, or I hope you guys enjoyed um, this video. Um, please remember to go like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!